you've worked me to the point of exhaustion. Dude, we've been doing this for five minutes. everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new here welcome please hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more fun and fresh content you know how it is i had another video planned for today but due to some unforeseen unfortunate events that is not going to happen today and we are in desperate need of some content so i'm gonna bring it to you so today we are going to make my little brother my personal servant for about an hour and we're just gonna see what happens he's definitely gonna complain a lot i think it's gonna be kind of funny and i just kind of want to be mean and order him around so let's just see what happens slight makes me look sickly but let's go get this bitch Hey dude, hey. so I'm filming a video and you're gonna be my personal servant for like an hour and there's nothing you can say or do, so. That's what we like to see. What is my first task? I'm kind of hungry. Let's go to the kitchen, can you make me some food? Uh, I love this already. All right, come on, I'm hungry. Make oh, it snappy. No. Actually, Something. no, you don't have to tell me. I'll figure it out. That's how my servant should act, I like it. That'll do. Give it to her. Aww. Aww. Clean up. A good servant. Onward. Next task. Take me to your sanctuary. Excuse me, sir, what do you think you're doing? Sitting in a chair. That's my chair. Peasants sit in that chair. I want the cool chair. That's right, yup. No, no blanket. You don't get a blanket. Put that down. Well, guess this is mine now. <sighs> How you feeling over there? How's this thing recline? Other side. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh, oh. that's just the oh. wrong button. Recline it for me. <sighs> so if you want to know how dumb she is, you see this button right here? You just, like, you know, lean back, please. Oh, yeah. There you go. This is what I have to deal with right now. You know what? This is great and all, but like, I would like you to get me a blanket now. I literally just folded the blanket after you told me to put it away, so. No, put it on me. I'm not moving a muscle unless it's to eat my gold. You're, you're just no, gonna, you're, no. you're, you're nice yep. Mm. That's not how that works. Oh! <laughs> you really hurt my nose, actually. That's how servants are supposed okay, to Okay, move the goldfish. I'm trying a little because you hit my nose. Move the goldfish so I can apply the my blanket. My servant isn't allowed to yell at me. I'm sorry. It's too bright in here. Turn off the light, please. God, the district. Oh, now we're talking. See? You should be serving me better. This is what we should have started with. I'm bored. Can you turn on a show? I don't know. Something interesting. What does that mean? Um, so we got Netflix or YouTube. What do you want? Actually, I don't want any of that. I'm really thirsty. Can you get me something to drink? Mm -hmm. Actually, let me rephrase that. Get me something to drink. What do you want? Um, Wh water. I've literally had one in my hand this entire time. I don't want your used water. I want my own. We don't have any more water, but we still have the used one and we got some pennies, so... What the fuck? That's not what I asked for. Easy clap. Do you know what that means? Drop on the floor and give me 20. You didn't say tw of what? Push-ups! That's not a push-up. <laughs> Bitch, worst servant ever. See, it would, but you've worked me to the point of exhaustion and... Dude, we've been doing this for five minutes. Okay, whatever. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh, shit, I dropped it. And? Pick it up. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> you know, you don't get water. Uh, I'm the one who decides what I get. This bitch just drank my water that he was supposed to get for me. Worst servant ever. <laughs> Stay put, I'm going to the bathroom. We're well, already then. Honestly, I don't really know. We've only been doing this for like 10 minutes, but I don't really know what to ask him anymore. Should I just be annoying? Should I just try and like annoy the shit out of him and see like what it takes for him to like fucking kill me? Let's try it. I think that sounds fun. I'm bored of your room. Can we go somewhere else? Where would you like to go? Somewhere fun. Oh, I love this room. It's my favorite room in the whole entire house. We're basically outside, but we're not. Man, so many things. So many opportunities for me to like ruin your life. Oh, what's the point of having Sage out here? Well, let me tell you, there's an interesting story behind that. I'm just gonna tell you guys this story real quick. I had a whack day for a lot of reasons. I had another ghost encounter experience. I don't know if you guys have seen my other video where I explained some of my other ones. I'll link that right there for you so you can watch it. So last time my mom and I went to bed. Is there peroxide because he attacked you? No, that's because Gracie <laughs> attacked me. It sounded like someone walked all the way down our hallway upstairs and then came downstairs. I heard them walking down the stairs and then rummaging through the kitchen and doing some weird shit. Like, I don't know. It sounded weird, but I was like, like, I I must be making this up because I knew it wasn't my mom like I would have heard her door open and Travis was asleep like it wasn't him this morning I mentioned it to my mom she was like oh yeah like I heard that too I thought it was like you were Travis so I was like 
Well, Mom, guess what? It wasn't fucking me and Travis was dead asleep. We both started freaking out about that. And then my mom had to actually leave today, so I was home alone. Before Travis got home, though, I was sitting out here on the screen porch, actually right in this chair, just minding my own business. And I went inside to go make myself some lunch, and it was dead silent in my house. And I go in my pantry just looking around, you know? All of a sudden, all I hear upstairs is this giant crash. And I was like, what the fuck was that? Like, I kind of freaked out, and I just kind of, like, was frozen in my same spot for a little bit. Like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, do I go upstairs? Like, is someone in my house? Like, what am I going to do? And then I heard something that really freaked me out. So it sounded like someone hit the light switch, and I saw it flicker on and off. So that freaked me the fuck out. That's when I got out of my house, and I waited for my brother to come home before going back in, because I'm a pussy. I'm all right. I just think that ghosts like to talk to me and hang out with me, and they like to creep me out. So yeah, I saged my house today. That's the story behind that. Oh, Travis has stressed me out. Can you get me a pillow, please? <laughs> You're supposed to making my life easier, not harder. Lean forward. You're the meanest servant I ever no, had. It's kind of muggy in here, don't you think? What are you implying? Can you turn on the fan? <laughs> Perfect. Um, no. Higher. Oh, hi, Loli. That's my dog, Lola. I know you guys have seen Gracie a few times. This is Lola. She's 11. She's an old lady, but we I love her. What's the level exactly? Hi. I wanted medium. I'll lose it. Actually, I changed my mind. Can you go back down to low? Come on, Lola. Come on, we're leaving. She's got this now. Really? You lost the servant. Good job. Wow. He straight up exited the premises. Later, bitch. <laughs> well, that didn't take as long as I thought. Terrible servant. Hated it. I rate him a negative three out of ten. I'm still here, you know. <laughs> You're still. <laughs> yeah, absolute worst. I give you like a zero on Yelp. Well, that's that, I guess. All right, guys, I know this is a bit of a weird video. Like I said, this wasn't what I originally had planned, but due to some unfortunate events, I will not be able to film my planned video, so hopefully that'll come next week. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and please like and subscribe for more fun and fresh content. Yeah, that's about it. Later, bitch.